Hello and welcome to this Infinite Run Engine tutorial. I'm Renault from our mountains and today we're going to see how Parallax works in the engine. So, um, Parallax is the fact of having a background repeat itself in a loop and uh, possibly, especially in 2D games, handling also a sense of depth. Uh, you'll have the parts of the background that are closest to you move in a certain way. I'm just going to die because it's hard to do both things at the same time. Um, so you'll have your uh, closest background and the closest to the, the camera uh, moving faster while maybe the mountains in the background are almost static. Uh, in 3D games of course with a perspective camera uh, you get that sense of depth uh, by nature but you may also want to have uh, a 3D repeating background sort of a parallax thing too. Um, in this case, in the case of the lane runner level, uh, as you can see, I have this this level that you know, seems infinite. But if I switch to scene view, uh, you'll see that it's actually moving in a sort of weird way. But uh, it actually it's actually two two parts. So I'm gonna pause the game, and um, here I have my original background prefab. So uh, it's only this part, and here I have a clone of it so uh, it's a uh, separated but uh, basically it's a, a whole clone and the idea is that both clones move uh, in in sync and when um, it's hard to it's hard to explain but when one when one reaches uh, the exact position of the other uh, then one is removed and moved uh, back again at the the other end and uh, this gives an impression of infinity. Uh, it's extremely easy to set up uh, using the, the Infinite Run engine. So uh, all you need is, for example, one prefab. Uh, in this case, it's uh, the background. And in it, I have some parts. So I have the, the sky right, sky left, etc. But I could also have done it at the top level. Uh, and uh, uh, all you need is to add a Parallax script. Uh, you decide whether what what the bounds should be based on so in this case i decided that the bounds were ba based on the collider but you could uh, have other choices um, then you affect the parallax speed so uh, let's change that to 50 and you decide on a di direction so in this case uh, in, in 2d you can see that uh, where i want to go is left so if i press play again you'll see that uh, this side of the screen is moving much faster and uh, in scene view, you'll see that, well, it works. Uh, I could also have decided to have it move up. So of course, in scene view, it doesn't make much sense, but as you can see, it's uh, also working. And that's pretty much all there is to know uh, about Parallax in, in 3D in the engine. Now we've seen how it works in 3D. Let's uh, have a look at a 2D example. Uh, so let's switch to Jelly Forest, for example. So uh, of course you can use the exact same technique uh, in 2D. Uh, you could have uh, a clone of your background and uh, uh, use the exact same script, but in 2D uh, it could also be a good idea well really it's up to you and depends on uh, what you're trying to move maybe it makes sense to use one or maybe the other but in 2d you have a choice you can either use the clone technique that we've just seen or uh, you can use the parallax offset well that's how i called it uh, technique uh, this one will apply an offset on the texture so uh, for example here i have my uh, jelly forest background so if i switch to 3D you'll see what I mean. It's made of uh, different parts. So I have a foreground, that's this part. Um, maybe it's better if I move the camera like that. So the foreground, I have some trees here. I have more trees. And finally I have a mountain and a sky. All right, so it's uh, one, two, three, four, five layers. If I press play, you'll see how it looks. Um, I have my character moving and I have my foreground moving really fast compared to the rest and uh, then the background is moving uh, slower than my platforms and so it gives me a nice sense of depth it looks almost like I'm in 3D um, 
it's actually done only in 2D and it's actually only done with uh, a single script. So uh, the way it works is that, for example, if I select my trees here, uh, so these are these ones, I've added a parallax offset script. As you can see, it's extremely simple, uh, at least in the inspector, and you only need to set a speed. So right now it's two, and if I look at my trees, it's six. The foreground is moving at a speed of 16, and the mountains a speed of one. So uh, it's usually a good idea to kind of multiply um, one value, and uh, you know, the closer you get, the more you multiply it. Uh, I could also change uh, that speed here, and set it to maybe 50, something that will look really bad, but at least you'll see what work, what it does. Uh, and as you can see, my, my background trees are now moving much faster. Uh, it's it's actually uh, really not not a nice effect, and I'm, I'm kind of feeling sick right now, so I'm going to stop. Uh, that's that's all there is to parallax really. Uh, you can either use the first technique, which is basically uh, a cloning technique. Uh, and you can also use the offset. Both uh, in my tests, I, I found them to be quite similar, but it really depends on what you're moving. Um, in, in 3D, of course, you won't have the choice of the offset. In 2D, uh, I'd say give both techniques a try and find the one that works best for your project. Uh, that's all there is to know about Parax. Uh, I hope you learned something new today, and I'll see you next time.